Welcome to the Daily Reminder Network. Sunnah Revival by Sheikh Mu'iz Bukhari Sunan of Welcoming a Newborn Child Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, this is Mu'iz Bukhari recording for the Daily Reminder Network. Children are indeed a great blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And He Azza wa Jal blesses whom He wills with male children, whom He wills with female children, and He leaves whom He wills barren, just as how He states in the Noble Quran. لِلَّهِ مُلْكُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ يَخْلُقُ مَا يَشَاءَ يَهَبُ لِمَنْ يَشَاءُ إِنَاثًا وَيَهَبُ لِمَنْ يَشَاءُ الذُّكُورِ أَوْ يُزَوِّجُهُمْ ذُكْرَانًا وَإِنَاثًا وَيَجْعَلُ مَنْ يَشَاءُ عَطِيمًا إِنَّهُ عَلِيمٌ قَدِيرٌ To Allah belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth. يَخْلُقُ مَا يَشَاءُ He creates what He wills. يَهَبُ لِمَنْ يَشَاءُ إِنَاثًا He grants to whom He wills female children. وَيَهَبُ لِمَنْ يَشَاءُ الذُّكُورُ And He gives to whom He wills male children. أَوْ يُزَوِّجُهُمْ ذُكْرَانًا وَإِنَاثًا And or He gives to whom He wills male and female together. الله أكبر. وَيَجْعَلُ مَنْ يَشَاءُ عَقِيمًا And He leaves whom He wills barren. إِنَّهُ عَلِيمٌ قَدِيرٌ Indeed, He is all-knowing, all-powerful. But the scary reality, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, is that just as how children are a great blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they are also a great responsibility upon us parents. And it is a responsibility that we will be questioned about on the day of Qiyamah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us all to fulfill this great responsibility in the best of manners. Ameen. For today's video, inshallah ta'ala, we will be touching on a few sunan related to welcoming a newborn into this world. Number one on the list is to do tahniq and then pray for the infant. Tahniq is to put something sweet such as dates or honey into the newborn's mouth. Abu Musa radiallahu anhu narrates, and the narration goes along the lines of these words, that when he was blessed with a child, he took the child to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam named the child Ibrahim, then performed tahniq, and then prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless the child and then he returned the child back to Abu Musa radiallahu an. And this particular narration is recorded in Bukhari and Muslim. It is also from the sunnah to name the child either on the first day or the seventh day. Next in line is aqiqah and circumcision. Aqiqa is to slaughter an animal. If it's a baby boy, two sheep. If it's a baby girl, one sheep. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is reported to have said, and the narration goes along the lines of these words. Whoever is blessed with a child and then wishes to offer a sacrifice, let him do so. For a baby boy, two similar sheep, and for a baby girl, one sheep. This particular narration is recorded in the book of Imam Abu Dawood and has been classed Hassan by Imam Al-Albani rahimahullah. My beloved Shaykh Imam Ibn Al-Qayyim rahimahullah states that from amongst the benefits of Aqiqa is that number one, it is a sacrifice through which the child gets closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the minute he or she comes into this world, Allahu Akbar. And number two, it is a ransom through which the child ransom, ransoms himself or herself just as how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ram, ransomed Ismail alayhi salatu wa with a ram. As for circumcision, it is part of the fitrah, the pure natural disposition of man. 
And there are many medicinal benefits that have been proven in regard to circumcision, such as that it prevents many STDs, many sexually transmitted diseases and other bacteria. And it is obligatory in the case of males. The next sunnah in line is to call out the adhan in the right ear of the infant so that the first words the infant hears when he or she comes into this world are the words of Tawheed, Allahu Akbar. And the final sunnah, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, is to shave the infant's head and anoint the head with saffron and then to give out gold or silver equivalent to the weight of the hair of the infant in charity. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless each and every one of us as well as our progenies and to accept all of us. Please don't forget to share this video around as much as possible to share in on the reward and also to inspire an amazing Sunnah revival. Jazakumullah khair wa akhir da'waya and alhamdulillahi rabbil alam. Support the da'wah. Donate now. Go to thedailyreminder.org slash donate.